Hi, my name is David Wilkes, and thank you for joining me today. Uh, it was brought to my attention earlier this uh, morning on a post that I made uh, to go over a few things to help some people out and understand better um, the proper way of posting to their page. And I'm going to do that today. I'm going to do that right now um, because posting mistakes are very easy to make on Facebook, especially when you're new to having a Facebook page um, and you're used to posting on your Facebook profile. Um, what I'm going to go over is when you log into Facebook, you typically log in or arrive at your profile page. And then as you go through and you find things that you want to share and put up on your your fan page or your business page, as it's now known, um, a lot of times we do that without realizing that we're actually looking at um, our uh we're looking at our fan page and we're not actually posting as the fan page or as the business page. Um, so definitely take a few minutes to make sure that you're posting as the page and then sharing to your, to, to your profile. So I'm going to go over how not to make these mistakes. Now I'm using one of our clients. Um, uh, she's made a few mistakes. So if, Part of our package is that we help you and get you moving right along. Um, we're working today with Shelly Tucker's page. Let me go back to a two-dimensional mix. That'll bring the page in so that you can see it better. Um, as you can see, she has our tabs installed. Uh, but what we what we see here is that um, when I scroll to the page, these are posts by others. Now, what you'll notice, um, actually, let me go back to the very beginning, uh, which will be this is the landing page and this is what you see if you are looking at your own page and this is what people find when they land on your page and you've shared your link. So what happens is she's got some great pictures um, except for this one here hasn't been modified or highlighted. So I'll show you how you do that. You just click the upper right hand side. Now that brings that entire picture across the whole page. Now you can go one step further, reposition this photo. Now you get the full Friday the 13th. And now that photo makes sense. So while I'm here, I just showed you something else that you can do that'll make your page more professional when people arrive to it. Instead of seeing half the message, they get the full message. Now, what Shelly's done is she's taken time to find some great articles and some great information and as you see where I'm mousing over, it shows up right here. It's not showing up, you know, in a pane where people can comment, people can like it. See, these people have liked it. 17 people have seen it. You get metrics from these posts here. You don't get metrics um, on what other people are posting. So you'll see you get people liking it. 106 people saw it. Um, you get this great countdown here. I mean, there's a lot of good information that she's got on her page. Um, that is very helpful. The problem is over here, she's been sharing stuff and we'll go to that. Now, so way to find that is up here on the top, this little bitty thing that says highlights, we'll go posts by others. Now, when people land on your page, they don't see this. They have to drop that menu down and most people don't even know about it. Um, so now you see her posts and Here's this great informative video from Dennis Harris on the new Plexus X Factor. Of course, if you have our tabs, it's automatically loaded as part of the product tab. And nobody's liked it. Nobody's seen it. There's no metrics to show how many people have seen this at all. So while she took the time to post this on her page, she did it as herself. And it's not getting any information to anyone. So it's invisible. It's not there. Um, again, this is a great inspirational photo, would look wonderful on my page, but it, I can't see it. Um, I'm taking control of my health and wealth. Who wants to join me? Well, no one's going to join you because nobody saw it. So let's see how to get away from that um, and get back towards what's being posted by the page. As you see, here are the posts by the page. They have comments. You get the metrics on how many people saw it. Um, and this is what's important, you know, making sure that people 
you know, organic reach, 34 people, 100, you know, 100 percent of the people saw that, clicked it, and looked at it. That's awesome. Um, so, how do you not make this mistake? Well, the first thing you have to do when you go to your page, and I'll go up here to Auto Tech Racing, which is my page, is you have to make sure up here on the top that you are posting, commenting, and liking as your page. See right here, it has my name. Well, this is how I change it to me posting. Now, if I post something on the wall right here, now I'm posting as myself. Check out the Brock Yates One Lap of America for new updates about and I'll post that. And that's great. David Wilkes just posted that to Autotech Racing. Now if I refresh the page Come on, load. Where'd it go? See, it's not there. It's not there. My latest posts cover it all up. Now, what happened here is it went over here into recent posts by others. So if someone's coming and visiting my page because I've shared the URL with them, all they're going to see is this. They're not going to see the post that I just shared talking about one lap. They're not going to see any of the information that I went out, searched, found, clipped in, pasted, nothing. And I'm not going to get any metrics for it. If I go post by others, there's my post right there a minute ago. This is a fun post where these guys were following us and it was pouring down rain and I'm driving the Mercedes and uh, yeah, I-65 in Bowling Green during one lap. Um, and that's how people use the hashtag to find our page as we were driving down the highway in the middle of Kentucky. So again, that's why hashtags are real important. Um, so how do you fix this problem? I'm going to change this back up here to Auto Tech Racing. Click the page. Facebook will eventually kick in. I'll refresh. And eventually it'll tell me that when the page loads. Okay, now see, I'm commenting, liking as Auto Tech Racing. This is why it's important that you make sure when you're posting anything that you found on the internet or anything that you want to share that you're posting as the page. If you don't do that, it's not going to help you. Not at all. So, how do you fix this problem? Well, there's two different ways. If I go to my own personal profile, up here in the upper right is the little wheel. Now, when I log in, I'm posting as myself. Everywhere I go all over Facebook, um, everywhere that I'm, I'm trying to make sure that, you know, I'm sharing the correct information, um, this is making sure that I'm logged in as me. Now, I can log in as the page, and I can go to Ray Shots Resource, which is my other page about racing, it was one of my brother's cars that he's built, Audi R8 twin turbo. Um, now, when I'm posting here, I'm posting as the page. And what's important is that when I'm posting as the page now, using the little wheel here, everywhere I go, I'm posting as the page, not just on my page. That means if I go to PMS, to this page here, I can go like it, which means I can like it from another page, meaning you can act as your page, navigate Facebook as your page, and now I can post as the page. This Facebook page.
page is a great source of <clears throat> so now I've posted on the PMS page as Rayshot's resource. Now where does that go if I'm visiting the page? So we'll refresh that and I'll show you. As you see, it doesn't show up on the timeline. So nobody who subscribes to my performance marketing services page will see that post that I just made because it came from an outside source. Nobody who's subscribed to it, nobody that has liked the page will just see the post that I made. Unless I go up here to the top and go posts by others. Once again, this is why this is so important that you make sure when you're posting as your page, you are doing so from the page, not as your profile. Because this way people are getting the chance to see what it is that you're posting. And if they're not seeing it, all of your work, all of your efforts are pretty much for naught. Because the whole idea of having a page is to reach out to people who are not in your warm group of friends, who are not in your inner circle, who are not the people that are on your fan page. Because chances are, if they already like your page, <clears throat> they've already seen your updates. So how do you do this if you're doing it from a group? Well, okay, that's a really good question that we've heard, you know, I've, I've received earlier. What you do then is you post as the page to your wall, like right here. I made this post earlier, and it's gotten some traction. We've got a lot of feedback on it today. So you go here, and once it's posted and the information's on your page, then you go down to the comment area and you hit share. Now, you can share in a group. And I will go performance marketing services, which is my group that I have for all of my clients. This is where I share information that I don't share on the videos and information I share about particular customers and clients pages where I don't need the whole world to know what it is that we're doing, especially when I'm you know, asking for suggestions about how I can make my services for your pages and your professional uh, program better. But I can hit post this here in the group and I can post, check out the latest updates and info about posting the right way. Now I'll share that. <clears throat> now, if I go to my group, it's sharing it as myself, but it's directing everybody back to that photo, back to the page, my page. I know it's a little confusing because it's like flip-flopping what side of the Pop-Tart am I looking at. So when you're looking at doing this and you're trying to do this, try and keep in your mind by always looking at the top of your web browser to make sure who you're posting as. It's really important. But there's a couple clues that you'll find when you're posting as yourself and you're posting as the page. When you go to post as something on the page, you'll see here it shows post video, offer event, and status. This is your first clue that you're posting as the page. Now let me change this and I'll show you how that layout changes. Notice that it only says post photo video. It doesn't say anything about anything else and it also doesn't say status. So if you look at this little thing right here, this first box, it'll instantly tell you that you're posting as yourself and not as the page. So all you do is go right back up here and change that. Now you see it says status, photo, video, offer, event. Now you can see that that's the quick reference. If you're not looking up here and you don't catch it up here, 
you can always look at it right there and it will tell you that you're about to make a mistake. Now, how do you fix that? Can you go back and you can delete these? Sure, you can delete them. But if you do make that mistake, you just say see all and you can comment as the page thanks and that's okay but it still isn't going to get any metrics or anything to help build your page outside the circle so what what should you really do go back and delete it start over and do it right um, the other thing I would suggest is it was brought up earlier uh, Kevin, I think, brought this to the to the light. He's using an iPhone. A lot of you have those toy phones. I understand. Yes, they're toys. They're made for kids. They're not made for adults. They're simply not a business tool. That's why the majority of this world started out with Blackberries because those are secure business tools. When Droid hit the market, it looked at the applications that Blackberry was have. It looked at the security functions and features of the Blackberry and they went the next step. Now, mind you that Google obviously has the droid. So if you're trying to make yourself more visible on web searches, it would behoove you to utilize a phone service or a phone platform, a mobile platform, that is developed and designed by the company you're trying to get higher up their ladder. So if you get a droid, and you utilize the functions that they have with the Google Plus and the Google you know, search engines, you'll find that your, your websites and your information and your links are now going to be easier to find when you look at stuff on Google. Um, <clears throat> and it, and it, just, it just makes sense. It really does. If you go to the top of your page to your admin panel, and I'll go here and I'll show you this. Go click over here to more and go to mobile. It will come up with this ridiculous looking mobile address. And what you do is you save that in your phone as a new contact. So when you want to share something, you grab your phone. And this is how you do it if you're not at home on your desktop, you're, you're, you're cruising through Facebook and you find something funny, what you do is you save that image on your phone. Um, you go to, you know, whatever you think that that image was really cool. Um, and I will, I can take this picture here. <laughs> and this is uh, Brian Johnson from ACDC. This was at one of our, ra our racing events. Um, and you probably can't see that. It probably comes up crazy looking, but what I can do here is I hit share and I send it as a Gmail. Now, this is going to come from, let's see, my race shots resource Gmail, and I can type in ATR and it will find automatically my auto tech racing email address and it will bring it up. Now this again is a mobile email address that I've saved in my phone as a contact like you know Betty Joe or whatever their name would be but I've named it ATR for Auto Tech Racing. The last name I made FB for Facebook and in the subject header I can type in here is Brian Johnson from AC DC now if you got a droid this is the best thing uh, at the races in Savannah how much faster was that than trying to tap it all out with your fingers that's called swipe it comes on a droid it's not available for an iPhone unless you buy some third-party app. Then I hit send. 
Now it's uploading that photo to my Autotech Racing page. Now the beautiful thing about that is when you're using the third-party apps, um, like Pages, Manager, and stuff like that, they limit you to the amount of text or amount of characters, like a, a tweet, to 140 characters. It also, in most instances, will resize the photo and make it smaller. So the way that you get away from that uh, is by using the mobile email address. And when that photo does, you know, decide that it's going to make it through the internet and launch, it will show up as a full resolution image. And it will show up with all of the characters that you typed in the subject header on your page as a mobile upload from the page, meaning it will go to the top level of your page and it will be on the front so all your friends and fans can see it. So that's how you can share something remotely, not being at your desktop, instead of using the app from Facebook that will send it to your personal profile. Okay, let me say this one more time. If you use the mobile email address for your Facebook page, for your business page, and you send an update using the email, you can put more characters, you can have a larger image, and it will go directly to the timeline wall where all your fans will see it as it's launched. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Plus, if you have multiple pages, like I do, during a racing event, I'm uploading you know, a picture or 10 pictures to 20 different pages at one time. So all I do is go to my phone for the recipients, I type in FB, and tap down each one of them that I'm going to send it to, and then I can send multiple pictures using the email instead of using the app. Because we all know that the apps always crash, then you have to redo it again, reload it, retype everything, and start from scratch. When you're sending an email and you get interrupted internet service or internet Wi-Fi uh, interruptions, the email will continue to try and send until it actually lands and launches on your page. So with that, I think we've covered about most of it and what not to do. And I hope that this has helped. I hope this makes it easier for you. Um, and if you've got any questions, be sure to post them on our wall. I'll try to make a video and make it simple for you. Um, and answer all of the questions that I possibly can. With that, my name is David Wilkes with Performance Marketing Services, and thank you for tuning in.